Here's why everything is your fault. Over the last four years running my videography company, I've understood one thing very, very well, that no matter what happens, no matter what goes wrong, everything is my fault. Now in this video, I'm gonna share four reasons as to why everything is your fault. Whether you know it or not, there's power in taking blame for everything regardless of if it was actually your fault or not. The first one's pretty simple. You're the owner. You have every say so that goes on, which means if everything goes fantastic, everyone gets to look at you. Now, to be honest, you should probably guide that attention towards you know, your team, but also when it goes bad, all eyes are on you. This is the harsh reality of what it's like to be a business owner and a leader, but that's exactly what is needed because at the end of the day, if you have control of the reins, if something goes bad, the only person we can look at is you. And even more so if you want to say, oh, you know, my team did this and, you know, my team messed up this edit. No, it's your fault. And the reason why it's your fault is because you are the one that chose that team in the first place. And that goes into the second part. People do business with just you. No matter how many people you hire on your teams, people are doing business with you. Even if you've scaled your business to a certain degree, people no longer do business with you as the owner itself you still are the one that people are doing business with because nine times out of 10, people are seeing your face. They're having you on the phone calls. And when that ends up being the case, people may receive the service from your team, but they're doing business with you. They're on the phone call and sign the contracts with you. Whenever something goes wrong, the only person they're gonna look for to have a conversation with or blame is you. Now, there's both power and weakness in which way you choose to go about this. If you choose to take accountability, you actually start to look like someone who people can actually rely on, that you take self accountability, that you make sure that no matter what happens, you're going to figure it out and get it done. And those are the type of people that people love to do business with, because I know for a fact that one way or another, no matter what happens, I know that this person is going to own up to whatever promise, or even if he isn't able to own up to his promise for whatever reason, they're still going to try to make it up for me because they know and understand that they took 100% accountability for what was done. Or you could choose the latter, which is point fingers and choose to not take accountability. Now in the upfront, it is a lot easier and feels a lot safer to choose to point at other people when a problem arises. The only issue? is that people no longer see you as the actual leader. People actually look at you as if you're not a great person to do business with. Because the reality of it is, if you're choosing to point fingers, this lets everyone know, including the client, that you're not one to take accountability. You're not one that's going to be able to step up and handle the harsh decisions that need to be made when things do not go your way. When situations don't even seem to make sense on why they went the way that they did and you still choose to point the finger, people start to lose a little bit of respect for you when it comes to business and may not wanna work with you again. Here's a real life example, one that I went through. As I was getting ready to move down here to Texas, my team was finishing up a project that we have been working on for a couple months now. Now, the client was taking a little longer than we anticipated, but we were still able to get the project done. And in as much, we actually ended up having to do additional edits that we didn't anticipate, but we still made sure we got done. The work was done, I paid the editor, and I had the rest of my gear shipped to me. Now, the client is asking me, hey, can you make these revisions while the gear is on the way? I told them and communicated with them, hey, I'm letting you know that the gear is on its way. We're gonna get it situated in the moment that I get it back, I will go ahead and start making these adjustments for you guys. The moment it gets back, the entirety of the project had a major issue. Once I got my gear and fired it up and turned, looked into the project, I quickly came to the surprise that every single one of the videos in this project was shortcut because the audio was not done correctly. I will not say I will not say whether the editor just gave a shortcut, just wanted to get their money faster, whatever the case is, doesn't matter. All I know is I have a project that has about 58 videos inside of it and every single one of the pieces of audio do not sound great as if they normally were before we handed the client off to the project. Within three days, I had to focus solely on getting this along with two other projects done because there was there were some mishaps or miscommunications with the client. I did not choose to point the finger and say, hey, look, he did this, he didn't do this job, he didn't do what he was supposed to do, no. 
what does that look like for me to say that to a client when they're looking at me because they know they're doing business with just me? That reflects nothing but poor leadership. Instead of complaining, giving solutions and thinking through the problems thoroughly. <laughs> when you're a business owner, regardless of whatever social media likes to tell you is, there's an ugly side. And a lot of it deals with the fact that if you are the head of the company, you are going to have to take on a lot of BS that has nothing to do with you and yet you're still supposed to take it on with a smile and still choose to figure it out. But in the end, you end up getting a lot more respect because no matter what happens, you are still able to think through solutions, take ownership, and people will actually hold, more, hold you in a higher regard because you're still choosing to not make excuses but get it done. Please, please, do not ever be the individual that could not own up to their mistakes or own up to a situation even if it had nothing to do with them because if you're the head of the company, it is all your fault. If you can own up to this, you will be a phenomenal leader and someone that everyone is gonna wanna work with.